The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. I wish I lived a life of luxury. Sly Cooper in Tide of Terror. I just need to hire an announcer to do stuff like that. Just have him around to do shit like that so I don't have to butcher it. But I like doing it anyway. It's fun. A stealthy approach my ass. We're just gonna be going in killing stuff. So here's where things will get uh will get deadly. Just because it's me. And ironically, this is a quote unquote stealth game that has minor stealth hey, Sly, in it. I just spotted something that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. Now shut up, fucking turtle guy. I control my own life. So this game also has collectibles in the form of uh, the little little bottles and stuff that you see there but they're not necessary to really beat the game I don't even remember what you now get shut up turtle thing. the message you just found appears to be some sort of clue I'll decipher it here in the yeah yeah go ahead decipher Hold that on, sure Sly. see those search lights one careless step and you'll be subjected to acute combustion you done whining Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I could checkpoint your progress. Nice. So yes, they are pretty good with the checkpoints. Unfortunately, when you die and... Oh, okay, those are thorns. Yeah, I forgot about those. That's my bad. I thought it was just tall grass, but they end up being thorns. Yeah. Unfortunately, when you get a game over... You're kind of fucked, and all of your checkpoints get taken away from you. So if you were on whatever world slash mission slash whatever you want to call it, that's great. Also forgot that uh, the tokens aren't incredibly useless. They actually give you these little horseshoe things, which give you an extra hit. So I need to not walk into that shit. Uh, I'm gonna wait. Oh shit. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I win, bitch. All right. Oh fuck. I okay, he's throwing a star at me. Where did this guy get a star at? It's not even like a boomerang. Like, how much money do they give this fucking? Oh, look at you! All right, forgot about a lot of this game already, so it's it's pretty much like I'm blind. But uh, yeah, the, the, God damn it, turtle! To my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know. That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. Well, he's a frog or a toad of some sort. I imagine he likes the rain. Look at oh fuck, blowtorch guy. Yeah, that's what I thought, bitch. That is what I thought. I don't even want any of those bottles. Yeah, I forgot what they give you. It's probably something like extra important and I don't know, cool. But I usually don't go for these because I am the asshole that doesn't like to collect anything. Meanwhile. Nice job so far, Sly. To get over the next gate, you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Yes, jump and hit the circle button to pretty much do anything in this game. It's like Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts had press triangle to win. This game has press circle to win for the most part. We got this guy, like, fucking banging his head. There you go. I don't even know what that guy was, like a beaver or some sort of stupid looking bear thing. I don't know. I don't know what half the characters in this game are. Now we play the waiting game. And I'm good at that game. Unless I have to wait longer than 10 seconds, then I'm terrible. Oh shit, forgot about that. Alright, no pesky thorns to fuck me over here, though. Yeah, fuck you, buddy. Alright, Mr. Starman. Oh, you go in the light. Hmm? 
Oh, you go in that there light. All right, so we got we got two over here again. All right, those things are the alarms. I'm sure most of you know that all of this shit. Vault has got to be somehow related to those clues in bottles you've been collecting. If you can locate all the clues in this area, I should be able to crack the code and get you inside it. That's not gonna be happening. Anyway, key. For the six of you watching who don't know, those are going to be collected throughout the entire game. They unlock cool things such as gates, doors, and other objects that help us move forward. And you pretty much have to collect every key in a certain area to move forward. Alright, I'm sure he's gonna interrupt us again, so I might as well not even fucking... Can you... Why aren't you... Oh wow, that was weird. Alright. But I, he's gonna take the binoculars out, and yep, there he goes. That you son of a like bitch. looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's Im oh, shit. impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you going to get to the impossible part? Fine. But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Yeah, Sly's a cocky son of a bitch. He's like, yeah, I can just do it. Uh, just a problem. Yeah, I can go there. Whatever. Where are we going here? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, there's a horseshoe right there. Ripe for the picking, if I can land on it. Oh, shit. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. Sure will. I believe the highest you can get to is golden. And when you die enough, the game will give you pity horseshoes. I'm sure some people want to hear that spiel. More often than not, I'll get sick of it and just say shut the fuck up and go into the next area, and then we'll be good. And then there was something else I wanted to Better talk about. close those furnace doors. Jump and press the square button. That'll slam them shut. Yes. It's good that the game kind of takes pity on you, at least for me, because there are certain parts of the game that I could probably not get past if it were not for the game taking pity on my poor soul. Eureka! We're in the engine room! My analysis tells me that if you trace the spinning crankshaft all the way back to its source, you'll find Raleigh's treasure key and sabotage his machine while you're at it. Also a bit of uh, amazing pro tip advice, if you get a hundred tokens, shut the fuck up, the turtle! Hold down button near the blue stealth auras to perform super sneaky thief moves! Yeah, thank you, turtle. Thank you very much. You get another hundred, while you have the golden horseshoe, they just give you a free life, which is cool-ish, I guess. So, I will probably, uh, probably be abusing the, uh, die... I don't even know why I just went to that. I just jumped through. Oh, sweet. I'll probably be abusing slash using the die and get golden horseshoe thing. Unfortunately, you have to get through, like, several lives of... Fuck, I don't think I'm gonna make this. Oh, I'm gonna make it. I'm fine with this. You have to go through several lives of dying before the game starts to take pity on you, which sucks. So, if things get a little bit too shitty and I am performing just terribly, then I will probably be editing some stuff out. Where is this even? Okay, so it's just there. Great. Oh shit, I almost hit that. 
I'll probably be editing slash cutting stuff out if things take too long. Because I know some people are like, no, you should leave it all in. It's funny when you suck. It's you know, hilarious. And then some people just get really annoyed. So it's like I leave a couple deaths in and then I edit stuff out. So it's kind of like, oh, fuck, this guy's being an asshole. So it's kind of like I kind of I kind of give a mix. I leave some fuck-ups in but at the same time. I get rid of them, too, when I feel like people probably had enough. You know, after two, three deaths or so, unless they're really funny. Oh, shit. Then it's, it's probably time to... Ow, oh, shit. I didn't know that hit me. Okay. Now that I know, and knowing is half the battle, G.I. Joe taught me that, I'm pretty sure. It was either G.I. Joe or Captain Planet. Look at that. Ugh. It was, it was one of the two. I don't, I don't remember. These fucking three blades suck. Fuck you, three blades. You guys are pieces of shit. Ugh! Aw, oh, four blades? What is this witchcraft? Four? Oh! Protastic. Alright, get off of that. Swing on the lifesaver. There you go. Oh, what is this? This guy's already, like, hammering before I even made it in. That guy's being an asshole. Alright, so what do we got here? What is, like, the... I can't even see, though. Like, I see the... the, the fucking lasers. God damn it. Oh, that's great. Oh, shit! Well, I barely missed that. And down we go. Fuck you, and fuck your alarm. That's going to be happening quite a bit in this playthrough. These fans, like... Oh, okay. I don't even know why I'm going for any of these bottles, considering if you miss one, you don't get anything, and I don't plan on coming back to these levels to collect them. So, you know, you win some, you lose some, just like that guy, that beaver dog bear guy. And this guy's got a fucking bo oh, you motherfucker! Well, I have no horseshoes, but I got a checkpoint, so fuck everyone. If you die, respawn at the checkpoint, unless you get a game over. But I highly doubt I'm gonna get a game over in this first area. And by first area, where the fuck am I supposed to? Oh, okay. By first area, I mean like this first little level. Where am I even supposed to be going? Like, am I supposed to be jumping up here? Oh, okay. Well, I guess that does make sense. Uh, here we go. Should I be worried? Uh, I'm kind of worried. I guess I just need to go down. Eh! Oh, fuck. Well, that was close. I almost got hammered. It's okay. Not in a good way either. I just like jump on the steam and. Nope. I cannot sail to victory. What is this? Oh, that's the safe. I don't want that. Don't even tell me I have to go like all the way back because I done did fucked up. Seems that way. Seems like it's time to go all the way back and 